Alright guys, so I tried to record this earlier and found out that my audio from my mic was looping back in over itself so it ruined the entire video. Should have done a test video first. Lesson learned. Um, so this is going to be a tutorial um, or was going to be a tutorial, now it's going to be a review <laughs> of spell towers and how they work, what they, you know, what they all do and and um, kind of a demonstration. I'll, I'll kind of play in a demonstration a little bit later into this video and um, and just show you guys what it's all about. Um, these are your your generators and you can make them in here in your magic workbench here when you go to this first folder it, and it even shows up uh, as a spell generator. Um, now Currently there are six different types of element you can put into these. I only have five of them because I haven't found any dark element yet. Um, but you have fire, water, uh, earth, ice, no, uh, air, and light. Sorry, not ice. Water would be the ice one. So, um, then you've got your little towers here. And I've got some outside that, I'll, that I can show you how I've got it all set up. But... Um, this one's inside and some really cool things you you should know about it is you do have to craft ammo for it so you have your generator which I believe does burn the element you put in it let's just see what one here that I've used it's only used one so far and I've had it up for maybe a couple hours now so in real life time so I, it must last a long time or maybe it only needs one who knows um, but it's it's lasting. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> so you can you can create combination uh, spells here with different effects. Um, the one I like for inside my base is a combination of movement speed reduction. Um, it says movement speed reduced 20% within two seconds, um, and it does 20 damage for this combination here. Usually, I think it only does 10 for the water by itself another 10 for the rock and then this one here you can't really see it but if I take this one out you can see added coma value 20 which is cool so it knocks people out and slows them down when you add the ice one in so there's a few different uh, presets you can do on that one uh, the other preset I like is the air and fire because it does about 15 uh, does about 50 sorry damage Plus, um, and I'll show you here, I want to switch it out. I'll throw those two in. And you can save these presets like this. You just throw them down there and switch between stuff like that. You, usually you see the two colors like this one does, but it's not showing up. It must be a glitch for this one. But those are my two favorites so far. And once I get this one in, I'm kind of, I really want to experiment with that. Um, so, that being said, I'll leave this one like this and I will roll the footage of the spell towers out front here actually taking down a low level beast, a little hyena dude that I lured to the base. Alright, All right, so, so we are, we are ready, ready to test, test this out. out. Oh, 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 I hear, I hear noises. noises. Look, look, there, there it goes. goes. Oh, oh, you can, you can dodge, dodge it pretty, it pretty easy. easy. There, there we, go. we go. We just we moved, moved a little, little bit and, bit and dodged, dodged it, it. But that's, that's pretty, pretty cool. cool. They do, they do work. work through, through the, the shield, shield too. too. So, so, um, actually, they're up top. So let's go. And I'm kind of built off the side of a cliff where nobody can get up from the bottom, and you'd have to fall down from the top. Um. But I do have a little kind of thing going on here. Um, haven't put any spikes up yet. I just really haven't done it. Um, I have the turrets up now, so they, they'll protect me for the most part. But I'm not too worried about it. Nobody's tried to raid me with the stone. Um, so I have them set to all, all targets. I was actually going to put them to tamed players or tamed creatures only. Um, because nothing really bothers me over here. <clears throat> but as you can see I had a hundred in these and looks like I have 50 now 
because I don't want to leave them on all targets either because they can just drop random creatures in. Looks like I've already shot a few off the back. Something flew by. But, um... There we go. So, pretty cool. And I'll show you right now the materials you're going to need to craft this. You're going to need a whole lot of magic essence. Let's see here. We go in here. You're going to need lots of copper. Um, this is 50 copper per tower. And then a bunch of stone too. So the more you, the more towers you have the better really. Because um, 50 damage per hit is good. But it's not the best. I kind of want to see what it looks like. With, um, with the graphics turned up a bit. Maybe it will look a little cooler. But I'll, I'll try to get some footage for that too. I'm going to get some high spell quality footage here without glitching out and having this goblin knock me to bits. I'm just going to get a little further now. I'm hoping he'll just keep chasing me if I stay kind of within range. Alright, we're almost within range of the towers. So let's watch as they shoot their magical awesomeness. Are they going to shoot? Oh, I didn't set it to all creatures. Oh no. What am I going to do? Alright, I need to go set them up. Can I set them up without him chasing me? That's the one thing, right? Oh, what? <laughs> oh my gosh, I almost died right there. No! No! How can I get out of here? Alright, so I mean, he like went off the cliff somehow. It looked like he was glitching the base, but when I circled back around, he's down here. And I was like, okay, so I'm setting up this tower. We're going to see if it works. Um, I'll turn it on. And then I'll set it to all targets, and we'll watch it take this guy down. Oh, cool. So the graphics are way better with, uh, but I'm not seeing, he's not dead yet. Is he dead? Can't tell. He must be dead, but if I, if he's not, I'm screwed. So, um, how many bullets did that use up? Ten. Not bad. Well, I'm not going to go down there, but that was way better graphics than what it was before. So, I'm going to set this one back up where it was. And that'll be that. Well, guys, my camera died somewhere in there. But, again, this is Dave with Full Armor Gameplay. And you guys uh, stay safe out there. Please like and subscribe this video if you liked it. Give it a good thumbs up and all that good stuff. And um, have a great week.